And this year is an expansion for alcohol sale at Badgers basketball and hockey games. In the past, beer and wine has only been available in suites and boxes. Mitchell Pinta is the deputy athletic director at UW-Madison. Why now for this change? Right, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, really for us, it's, it's feedback from our fans. Um, we've really tried to reinvest in, uh, in the overall customer experience. And a lot of the feedback we've gotten from fans over the years is the ability to get an alcoholic beverage at a game like you do at Lambeau Field or Fiserv Forum. So it was really important for us to, to take this step, and we're excited for this fall. And we know other Big Ten schools enacted similar policies. For example, the University of uh, Iowa started alcohol sales in 2021, and the numbers show that the school made $3 million in its first year. Is this a potential first step towards sales at Camp Randall for football? You know, for us, we're really focused on having a great and safe experience uh, for our patrons at Laban Arena and the Cole Center this fall. Um, you know, we'll con continually get the feedback from our fans and, and look at the future. But right now, there's no timeline on expanding this uh, outside of Cole Center or Laban. Are you guys planning just to see how it goes, then potentially expand? I mean, there's always a potential for it, but really, you know, we started the Shania Twain concert uh, in May serving alcohol. We have uh, the Chicks concert later this August, and then once football or uh, once basketball and hockey season start ramping up, um, it'll really give us some a chance to evaluate how it's going for our fans, making sure it's safe, making sure it's efficient. And then from there, we'll work with our partners on campus and law enforcement and, and continue to evaluate. But um, I definitely don't want to put a timeline on it. Uh, we're really just focused on this fall, and we're excited. I'm glad you mentioned the, the uh, part about safety uh, and, and it's no secret for to anyone that alcohol exists on college campuses. Does this kind of draw up that added concern for students and safety as well? A hundred percent. And, you know, that's been our primary, our primary concern in working with law enforcement, our partners on campus to make sure this is um, as safe as possible. So um, we're working with our concessionaire and Levy to make sure that we have the strictest guidelines in place when it comes to IDing our fans. Um, and we're also going to take some steps to to direct some of the revenues back towards campus to make sure that um, we're investing in alcohol prevention uh, programs and, and things of the like. Because for us, we, we're really cognizant of making sure that this is as safe as environment. Um, as possible while also adding to the overall fan experience.